It's just seconds. That's all any of this takes. And what we're going to do today is, uh, this show is about using leftovers, but this particular episode is about actually cooking a pork loin, um, which we got for $1.59 a pound, and we um, uh, sold $5.20 for this piece of meat. So anyway, um, and so we're going to show you how I dress it before I put it in the slow cooker. And that's, that's all I'm going to do is she only take a second. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna chop this thing up like this. Just drill some holes. Simple holes. Get the whole thing. Didn't take very long at all. It really just takes a second to, you know, do a few little things. Now, I, I thought this out yesterday, uh, yesterday and um, took it out real early this morning, uh, multiple hours ago, to get up to room temperature. And of course, I chop, 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 chop. Of course, I chop, 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 you know, everything already. You know how to chop. Now, what I'm doing here, this is a mixture of uh, onions, garlic, ginger, and uh, goji berries. And um, I haven't tried this mixture yet in my uh, pork one. I was able to score quite a few of these at the price they were selling them for four or five bucks a shot because um, this is makes leftovers all week and, uh, and that's nice and since I really a lot of times make stuff more for what I think the leftover will be than what I think this one is but um, you know You know, and you don't have to uh, spend all day getting this stuff in there. I mean, you gotta get it in there. I mean, I'm trying to, the reason I'm using this garlic ginger mixture is I'm trying to make it spicy. Uh, the goji berries will be hydrated in apple juice, which is what I'll use as the bit of juice that we start with the slow cooker. I don't need a lot of juice because I'm not trying to boil the meat. Apple and pork goes together. These berries go very nicely in the in the deal in the you know with the apple and uh, you know and then just kind of get the excess off of there real quick. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a rub. I'm going to do a taco seasoning rub. Uh, here are the Taco Kroger taco seasoning. That's what we're doing today. And uh, because. I smelt this the other day and it smells so good. Just good taco seasoning. Even though I don't know if this is good or not, this is just cheap because it was Kroger brand. You know. And this will also add, I'm trying to, you know, pick up some spice on this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit. Let it sit for an hour. Let those salts in that really let it just all kind of melt down in there and get that salt going. Anyway, so uh, I'll come back to this in an hour or so, maybe two, and then we'll put it in the slow cooker, okay? That sounds great. Thank you. Okay, now here we are with the um, finished uh, loin. It's been sitting here for a couple hours. It's absorbed all the salt that it's going to possibly absorb. And uh, so we'll come over here now, and we are going to singe it. It's not called singeing. It's it's not called singeing. It's called something else, and uh, and I can't remember because I'm not much of a cook. But anyway, um, I'm going to basically cauterize all the uh, sides of this so it seals in uh, the flavors. And, uh, and I did use a little bit of oil uh, in the pan uh, to uh, you know, to do that with. Doesn't take very long. It's pretty quick.
This is and this is where a fork can come in handy uh, to be able to uh, you know balance the meat on the sides and on the top and stuff. Uh, the next the next flip will be um, uh, on the edge and of course it will be hot now on that side. So you're going to need a fork. Anyway, it only takes a second, and uh, and that's the name of the show, is it only takes a second. And uh, these little things that we could be doing, uh, you know, letting the meat sit out to get to temp, allowing the seasonings to um, kind of melt into it, uh, you know, all these things are just not that big of a deal. And to uh, take a minute and singe it before we stick it in caramelizes the outside, it looks better when you serve it, um, you know, pork loin looks, it'll look nice, it'll look like it's grilled, and people are excited about that. So, uh, Okay, here in just uh, in just a second, we will in just a second we'll be just um, uh, getting this out of the pan and putting it into the crock pot. So I'll show you what's in the crock pot, what we're doing over here. Okay, what we have here in the crock pot is uh, we've got some potatoes, we've got some onions. We got the rest of the goji berries uh, that had sucked up a lot of that water, of that apple juice, and uh, and then the um, go goji berry, garlic, ginger, uh, onion mix there from when we stuffed it in earlier, and we'll be sticking it in in here. What we're going to do first, of course, is we'll put the onions in first, and. Um, I like the onions in first because, well, then the onions get in first. Anyway, and then we put the potatoes in, and then we'll pour the rest in when we get the pork over here. Okay, the rest of this um, here, we will uh, get the pork in there, and then we will uh, pour the rest of the pour the rest of the goji berries on there, and uh, get that taken care of there. And so the pork is sitting on top of the uh, potatoes and the onions and the bottom, and then we will be um, and then the, of course that little bit of the apple juice and the goji berry juice on the bottom. And then we will be setting it for six hours, and that's how that's gonna work. And then we'll show you at the end we need it. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> end of six hours, and um, it's been in the crock pot. And now we're gonna open it up, and 
voila, lots of steam. And then there, and what you're seeing in there is uh, all of those um, uh, goji berries, and uh, and so they look real dark, and that's going to be a real dark broth, and that's going to be nice. Anyway, let's take a, I'm just going to take a quick little bite of this, just to uh, see where we're at, see what our flavors did. I dipped it in a little bit of the juice. <coughs> Hope it cools down. Hope it's not too hot and burns me. It's excellent. It's very nice, very moist, falls apart. It's really, yeah. That's gonna make a lot of leftovers too. That's what's gonna be, that's gonna be a ton of different meals. And this was only five dollars uh, to get the uh, pork one. So for five bucks and uh, just a few seconds, you can have yourself a, a, a lovely pork loin dinner. And we'll have this tonight with uh, the potatoes that are underneath it, and, and of course we'll have a salad. But um, uh, that's all for today, and uh, we'll be doing more with the pork, of course, over the week, uh, because the show is about the leftovers. So uh, remember, whenever you're hungry, you can always have a good meal in just a couple of seconds.